In this video, I'm going to be explaining why the Rocket Kane is still my main mouse. This video is kind of inspired by Intel Edits' video where he explains why the Logitech G Pro Wireless is still his main mouse. Also, I know lots of my videos recently are kind of short. I will make longer videos soon, but I just don't always have time for that. I have lots of cool videos planned though. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, yeah, enjoy. So first of all, the reason why I don't use something like a Logitech G Pro Wireless or something like that is because my channel is pretty much based around drag clicking and bridging. So I'm kind of limited to mice that can register a lot of CPS. Also, the Rocket Kane 100, which is the one that I mainly use at the moment, before it became like super popular, it used to be like 20 $25, which is very cheap for a mouse, especially one this good. But something like a Rocket Comp Pro must be better, right? It is newer, it has an adjustable debounce time, it's like $70 right now, and it can get some insane CPS, so why don't I just use that one? Well, it's kind of two reasons. The first one is that for drag clicking, you basically have to use fingertip gripping to move your mouse while drag clicking, which the shape of the Comp Pro isn't ideal for, and the Rocket Kane just kind of works with every gripping style. But I'm going to be honest, the shape of the Comp Pro is not that bad for the fingertip gripping, especially if you compare it to something like a Bloody A70. But the second reason is just because I'm used to the Rocket Kane. If all Rocket Canes are sold out, then I will probably just switch to a Comp Pro. And once I get used to that, I'll probably be as good as I am right now. Another thing is that the Rocket Kane 100 and 120 can get a max of like 50 to 60 CPS and Bloody Mice or something like a Rocket Comp Pro can get over 100 and even over 200 CPS. But lots of people don't know that like something above 20 CPS is kind of useless. You don't need 100 CPS for Speed Tilly. I mean if you look at this guy he just clicks 13 to 15 CPS for Speed Tilly. And he's also using a Rocket Kane by the way. The most important thing is the consistency of the drag click and not the amount of CPS. Unless your mouse only registers like 5 CPS. If drag click then yeah obviously it's not good but the rocket cane is very easy to drag click on consistently also the rocket cane is 89 grams which i believe is good for someone who doesn't hold their mouse while god bridging like me for the mouse to stay in the same spot but if you look at bloody mice which are 150 grams they are worse for people who don't hold their mouse or gold bridge because of the metal mouse feet that give no control at all the rocket cane has some pretty bad mouse feet for gliding but that's exactly what i need when i want to gold bridge so it's perfect for me if i want to gold bridge on a bloody mouse i have to put some something like electrical tape on the mouse feed which is not ideal if you want to telebridge or doing something like playing bed wars or pvp and taking it off every time is also very annoying so that's why i choose a rocket cane over bloody mice and other rocket mice like the compro anyway that's all i had to say let me know what your favorite drag clicking mouse is and why i am very interested to know what you guys prioritize okay so i hope i'll see you all next video bye